Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls. This is our daily angelic message for April 2nd, 2024. I'm getting it up super late in the evening. I do apologize. Um, I, I just apologize. So to make it up to you, let's do a little bit of a fuller reading. Okay, but if you want a personal reading, go to angelsouls444.com. I'm doing my best to get those um, to stay on top of things because I got all caught up a couple of, actually probably about a month ago, got really caught up on everything made some changes in the schedule so things are a little more streamlined uh so i'm trying to get those to you a lot faster but i can't i hope you can understand i can't guarantee that i'm one person i'm the one who does your reading so uh if i get sick that happened about a month ago i got sick and that put me behind or the internet goes down or something you know what i mean but otherwise we should get them to you we i guess me and the angels are doing this right <laughs> of course they're part of it but like that that was a slip, and I think that was a very beautiful slip. That I think that shows that they're right here with us. But we will get your reading to you as fast as possible. Angelsouls444.com. Uh, I can take some live readings this week. The spots are a little bit limited, but I can take a few. So let me know. And for those of you, email at angelsouls444. Wait, angelsouls444 at gmail.com. It gets confusing. All right, let's get us a few cards. How's that? Okay, compass. Oh, this makes a lot of sense. The number's 50 on there. Man, this is so us trying to find our direction. And nothing is what it seems. You might feel lost. You might feel like you don't have direction. Or I feel like some of you feel like you're very solid in your direction. But there could be like, there's like a new addition, like something comes in or it's a new opportunity or a new way of looking at something. Okay. And it's trying to get you to your true north. And, uh, you might, some of you might be like, oh, I don't, I don't want to, I'm too tired, but you need to listen. Okay. So we have 53. The card is listening. So this immediately, of course, makes me think of Archangel Sandalfin. Sandalfin helps us be <coughs> we still have a cough hanging over from it. It's just a cough. I feel fine, but whatever. Um, Archangel Sandalfin is all about being grounded and balancing your spiritual self with your physical self. So it's all about sound, healing, music. He's known as the Archangel of Music. So this listening, one, could be uh, healing through listening, right? So some sort of um, healing music or sound frequencies that might be um, something you want to engage in, but more than anything, when someone communicates to you and then, you know, you, you think you understand it, you're, you're listening to them and you think you understand it. There is a lot of miscommunication that's going on right now. Obviously we have a mercury retrograde, but you know, just like you'll have somebody like, <laughs> I feel like I'm talking to a lot of maybe, um, wives at home. I don't know where you're like, my kids won't listen to me or my spouse won't listen to me. Uh, but then you have to stop and go, but wait, how am I, how am I communicating? And remember, it's not just your words. What's the volume of your voice? What's the tone? Do you communicate with people as if they're in your, your head with you? <laughs> right? Because <laughs> see, and I've done that. I've been so guilty of that. Like I'll say something like, Hey, you know, this and this and this. And someone's like, what? And I get frustrated. I'm like, you know, that and they're like, I don't know. And you should have presented that with, with your statement. So I know what's going on. So there could be a lot of that. But um, this to me feels like listening to your intuition, listening to your heart. Um, and if somebody has a problem with you or there's conflict, I'm not going to sit here and say that you didn't have a part in it, but... Um, some people are just not good at reading the room. You know what I mean? Like they're not good at reading the room and they think they're communicating. Well, like I've been in situations where five people are talking. I have a very loud family and you know, there'll be five people talking at once. And then I'm like, huh, I can't hear what you just said. <laughs> um, and then, you know, somebody has to repeat themselves and it gets frustrating because they have to repeat themselves, you know, so there's, this is, I think in part is talking about quieting the noise, um, quieting the chaos, even if that means you go silent for a moment until everything kind of calms down and then you have your 
conversation. Yeah, because here's why. We're going into the unknown. I don't like that she's blindfolded and it's like she's in the dark. So we're being guided, sure, but it may not feel the way we think. You know, we're actually going through something. Look at this. She's blindfolded and then there's listening. So you're using your ears more than your sight. And that's how you're finding your direction. So some way that you're used to doing things, the comforts that you might normally have, those are going away. And so now you're having to find your way through the dark, just taking one little step at a time. And it might feel scary. It might feel like, like I don't have the solution. I don't know what to do with this. But you will come out the other side. All right, because now, like it says here, if one sense is taken away, another one heightens and you still find your direction, but it might be a little uncomfortable. Okay, it's building up to this eclipse energy we have on the 8th. Of course, that's happening already. It's going to happen afterwards. So feel it out for yourselves. Trust yourselves. All right, we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.